Hello everyone, my name is Protasilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to talk to you about a couple of tools that are built into Emacs that help you navigate large files. The first of them is called Outline Minor Mode and the second is called iMenu. What I want to do in this video is present to you how each of them works individually and then how I have managed to make them work in tandem. So this means that I will be presenting the tools themselves in addition to my own uh, tweaks, functions and uh, uh, the extra packages that I have uh, pieced together into a uniform uh, workflow or experience, if you will. So let's start with outline minor mode. What I have here in front of me is an org mode buffer. And the reason I am starting with this is because uh, one of the functions, one of the numerous functions of org mode is the ability to expand and contract a heading so that you can reveal the contents uh, inside of it. And you can do this, of course, as you know, on a per heading basis or across the entire buffer. So this is a very powerful feature because it allows you to navigate and to focus on the task at hand and to remove all the extras from your immediate attention. Uh, outline minor mode takes this principle and allows you to implement it in another major mode. And what this means is that you can, for example, be in an Emacs Lisp buffer, in an Emacs Lisp library such as for example, one of my themes over here, and you can uh, provide this uh, functionality of headings that delimit an outline and then uh, offer you the ability to expand and contract them inside of the Emacs Lisp uh, buffer. So let me show you how this works. It works by reading a generic comment such as this one over here. Uh, the comment has to start at the beginning of the line and needs to be at least uh, three markers long, three comment delimiters uh, long for it to be uh, considered a heading. Three uh, delimiters means heading one, four means heading two and so on. So let, let me enable my wrapper around outline minor mode so that we can start uh, showing this um, piece of functionality in practice. You can already see, uh, you can already tell that the comments have been uh, transformed, they have been refashioned and now they look like uh, headings and of course I can expand and contract them. I can do this for the entire document. I have a command for that. You can see this is the entire buffer. I can move around using standard Emacs motions. I can move from one heading to the next. I have uh, key bindings for these. Uh, that's very nice indeed. You can expand any item with the tab key. Uh, this is a key map that I have defined, so don't focus too much on the particular key bindings. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the functionality and the convenience it brings with it. Um, a, a slight difference uh, relative to org mode is this fact over here, this kind of thing that you are looking at over here, which is that other than just uh, contracting headings, outline minor mode also operates on uh, syntactic uh, units, syntactic objects. In this case, uh, this is a function and you can see at the end there are uh, three uh, dots uh, denoting the fact that a portion of the text has been hidden from sight and of course this means that we can um, proceed to the heading to the object and expand it as uh, we would on a heading, a proper heading if you want. And of course uh, you can do this on anything that has uh, three dots uh, at the end and that's very nice indeed. And so this is uh, outline minor mode in outline, if you will. Uh, now I want to disable my mode and I will return to it in a couple of minutes. Let's first uh, offer a brief introduction to iMenu. iMenu is a completion based dynamic menu. So let me invoke it. You can call it with MX iMenu, but as you can imagine, I have my own little tweaks and functions and extras for it. So I have a key binding for it as well. And this is iMenu. 
it allows you to jump to any uh, item on its index using completion methods, so search methods. And this is absolutely wonderful because now you can fuzzy search and jump to any point in the buffer, any point of interest per uh, iMenu's uh, own heuristics. So let's, for example, move to subtle, I don't know, blue. Let's, for example, move to this. This is, it doesn't really matter what it is. The point is that I was able, let's uh, toggle uh, line numbers so that we can see. Uh, let's now move to something, uh, uh, theme, uh, mark, for example. Let's go here. You can see I'm moving from line 300 something to 400 something. I wasn't really paying attention to the lines. It doesn't matter. What matters is that exactly you have completion based navigation to any point of interest in the buffer using a dynamically generated menu. And I, a complementary package to iMenu is called iMenu list. And what this does is it takes the index of iMenu and puts it in a, a sidebar buffer. So this means that now you have in effect a table of contents with the entire index of iMenu and you can of course use the mouse or you can just use uh, the return key, standard uh, stuff, uh, nothing fancy here. Uh, let me, the reason I am showing you this is because I want to count the lines in this index. You can see that this is 96 lines long and the reason I am doing this is because this is very short. And it is very short because it ignores the kind of information that outline minor mode uh, presents, which is all those uh, headings that would be of great interest to me that would really allow me to navigate to the entirety of the buffer and not just uh, a few items of it because the information you have here, if you are familiar with this file, though it doesn't matter, it's just up to line 899 and uh, this uh, buffer has for example i think yeah almost 400 4000 lines so not even to the one fourth of the buffer i cannot move with this so that's not good enough it is good in other modes but not in this specific case so let me enable my mode uh, for uh, outline minor mode which also refreshes the index. It uh, uh, expands the index of uh, iMenu. Let me uh, go to the iMenu list and regenerate it. You can see already that it has changed. Let me count the lines. You can see that it is almost 400 lines now. So let's use this uh, new tool that we have to navigate to any point in the buffer. Let me, for example, go to outline mode. So you can see this is outline mode, line 3000 and something. Let's go to that uh, subtle blue that I checked earlier. Uh, subtle blue, you can see line 300. Let's go to org, uh, line 4000 plus. You can see how it is. This is absolutely fantastic because now you can fuzzy search and jump to any point in the buffer by using a combination of outline minor mode and i menu and of course you still have the heading uh, folding uh, facilities and uh, all those uh, niceties so uh, you can uh, really uh, make things work the way you want the way that makes sense to you you could uh, move up and down using standard uh, motions you could jump from one heading to the next you could invoke a search and then proceed from there. This is absolutely uh, wonderful. And of course, you have the benefit with this refreshed index that you have a more comprehensive, dynamically generated table of contents. So this is absolutely wonderful. Let's see it in action. You can see it over here. Maybe I will add a small uh, little extra over here so that when you focus a heading, it will also expand it. I have something like this for org mode buffers. This is very easy to do, but it doesn't really matter. The specific modalities, the specific uh, ways that you interface with it are uh, subject uh, to your preferences. What matters is the core functionality. 
So let me, uh, in conclusion, switch to my org mode buffer. Uh, let's have a look at the size of this uh, file. This is 68,000 words plus. And as you can imagine, uh, this would be uh, tedious uh, to manage without iMenu. So of course, as you can imagine, once I invoke iMenu, I can move to any heading in this file. Let's go, for example, to iMenu. Let's check the line number, line number 1400 something. Uh, let's go to outline minor mode. Well, it's happening outside, some commotion. Uh, let's not worry too much about it. Um, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so you see I was... Uh, sorry about that. So let's do this again. I was in I menu, line 1400 something. Let's go to outline, uh, outline mode 8000 uh, plus. You can see how easy it is. Let's go to my fonts, uh, 400 something. Where is I complete? 800 something you can see how it is this is absolutely fantastic because now i don't need to think too much about where exactly did i put this heading and so on and so forth of course i can i can invoke i menu list here as well and here because this is a proper index that i have not developed myself it has it allows i menu list to work with the assumptions that the developer has uh, implemented for it. And so it has uh, a bit of a nicer uh, structure, if you will. Uh, and of course, you can move to any point. Again, same principle. Ah, let me show you the fact, for example, check org export. The fact that it auto expands the heading, you see it. This is the little extra that I have for it. And I will add it for uh, the programming modes as well. Uh, so, in conclusion, to uh, folks, uh, these are um, tools that are built into Emacs and uh, which I have uh, expanded with some uh, more packages. So, let's start with um, outline minor mode. Um, the cycling of uh, the cyclic visibility of the headers is not provided by outline minor mode itself, but by another package called Bicycle. And this is a package that is developed by Jonas Bernoulli, also known on, on GitHub as Tarsius. And uh, this uh, package simply provides this uh, cyclic visibility functionality. Uh, Jonas is also the developer of Keycast mode. It is uh, the mode that produces the indicators here on the buffer that shows the key bindings and the functions associated with them. And of course, uh, Jonas also develops other packages. You can check uh, the GitHub page or uh, the website. Lots of interesting stuff. Uh, what else do we have here? Ah, yeah, of course, Jonas is also the developer of Outline Minor Faces, which are which is the tool that uh, adds uh, color, coloration uh, to uh, the um, headings of Outline Minor Mode. Uh, let's move a bit further down. What else do we have? Then I have my own little extras. I have a key map. I have a minor mode. I have some hooks. I have uh, this uh, integration with iMenu that I presented. Uh, of course, as always, this is a work in progress. It works on my end, but I have not uh, tested every edge case out there. So your mileage may vary. You have to check yourself. If you need any help, I can provide support to the extent uh, that I can, uh, you know, of course. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea with this. Let's go to iMenu very quickly. And uh, iMenu is, as I said, built into Emacs. Again, I have a few extras over here. Uh, in particular, I am uh, interested to integrate iMenu with my completion framework. And my completion framework consists of the built-in iComplete. I have an added mode called iComplete Vertical Mode, which is developed by Omar Antolin Camarena, a simple but effective package. Uh, Omar is also the developer of Orderless, the orderless completion style, which allows for out-of-order matching. It is simply a sublime uh, tool. It is a game changer as far as I'm concerned when it comes to uh, the kind of tools that were available on the iComplete front. Orderless is very nice indeed. 
Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, those little extras of uh, pulsing the cursor when I jump to a heading and revealing the org tree. Um, there are some more, I think, uh, I menu flat or yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah, of course, this is very important, fly menu. It is uh, the fact that uh, this package will simply flatten the index of I menu, so you don't have to go through multiple selections and uh, jump from one heading level to its uh, children and so on. You just go directly to where you want to go. And of course, uh, I menu list, it is somewhere over here. I menu list, uh, list, so somewhere over here. I'm not sure I have much about it. Yeah, some minor things about it. It just works. Uh, one last thing is that I have a org I menu, I think, yeah. Of course, what I just did right now is an old hack that I have uh, shared before, which is the ability to uh, let I search, I search, uh, interpret a space as a wild mark, uh, a wild card rather. Uh, so I won't talk too much about this. You can check my configurations for iSearch, but this is another way to navigate large buffers as well. So back to iMenu, when it comes to integration with org, you definitely need to uh, check this variable over here because its default value is, I believe, only two levels deep so you will miss practically the entire document. You want to increase this number so that you can move uh, to any point of interest in a large org mode buffer. So that's all for now, folks. I will provide the link to my .emax from where you can find all of these things. And once you enable iMenu in your configs, you can happily jump, uh, jump around this large buffer uh, as you will. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, just a final note. Sometimes in the video hosting platform, I do not receive notifications for your comments. So if I ever miss your comment and it is something uh, you are asking a question or you need my reply, please make sure to contact me. If you send me an email, I will definitely reply back and uh, as soon as I can. That's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.